sunlight hadn't got on this side of the house yet, but I wanted to take a look at that pink azalea right there. That is the most it's ever bloomed. It is in full bloom. My big one over here I had to cut down because it was just taking over the whole walkway to get in the house. I got a lot of poison oak and stuff growing out here. My little white one's coming up good with um, some kind of vines. I need to cut them poison oak, but I'm not getting anywhere near it. But I gotta admit, that azalea is looking beautiful. It's taller than I am. I'd say it's close to seven feet tall. Dark blue one over here is doing okay. I'd like to have azalea bushes that nice up and down my driveway, but that won't happen in my lifetime. I planted those azaleas, oh, 30 years ago. They never get a lot of sunlight here. Yep, a lot of yard work that ain't going to get done. The knockout rose bush came back good this year. The Japanese beetles chewed it all up last year, and I'm sure they'll be back out here pretty soon. That knockout rose bush is seven feet tall. I think you're supposed to cut them back every year, and I haven't been doing it. Question to my viewers, should I be cutting it back? Or just let it go to the moon? Uh, my Easter lilies are kind of in the shade. But it looks like I got two of them coming up. Usually there's a whole bunch of them there. Well, at least there's a couple of them still there. I think I'll take that bird feeder back down if I ever get the energy. Not much of a vlog here today. But I am thoroughly impressed with my azalea bush. Got the tin man up there looking down at them. Let me get out of the sun, there might be a glare. Our drangers are gonna do real good. Walter needs to get out here and cut the bushes. The weeds, I usually weed eat. I haven't had the gumption. But my zinnias are coming up pretty good. I get out here and water them every day. It's a beautiful day in Georgia. Birds have come back to feed on the feeder. And them ornery dang squirrels come out here yesterday and there was two of them eating my bird feed. A little sparrow just flew in there and started eating some bird seed. It's too nice a day to spoil it by doing some work. I got big old oak trees getting back in full bloom. That's going to affect my reception on my Starlink. But you couldn't ask for a prettier day in Georgia. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a nice Saturday afternoon. I would be watching the Braves game if it wasn't blacked out in our area. This year, for the first time, we paid uh, for the MLB TV network because we thought we could watch the ball games. But half of the games are played here in Atlanta, so they're blacked out. I guess I can watch the games when they're out of town. $149 shot to, shot to pieces. But anyways, no, it's only money. My two crepe myrtles out there, not crepe myrtles, my two red tips by the driveway are totally dead. 
I started cutting one down just last year and I guess I'm gonna have to hire somebody to come and cut them down. I appreciate y'all tuning into my little useless vlog today. The wife is cooking a pot of pinto beans. She's got a rack of ribs in the oven cooking. She's got a big old hunk of cornbread cooking in the toaster oven. Let's go see if we can get a picture of it. Thank you.